I just created these fancy motion graphics using only AI and natural language without using any complicated software like Adobe After Effects. At the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to do it as well. And I'll also give you the exact files I created. Creators like Isaac, Imangaji, and Digital Income Project rake in millions and millions of views by using these fancy motion graphics that they or their editors create. And now with Google Gemini's Nano Banana, anyone can do it. It's so simple. So let's go ahead and dive in and create these motion graphics right now. So first we're gonna head over to gemini.google.com to use Nano Banana to create some images. You can use this completely for free right now. So for this fancy YouTube image here, I just use this prompt, generate an image, a digital illustration featuring a group of different shades of gray, simplistic human silhouettes, blah, 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 blah. You can just pause the video and copy this, or you can get all the prompts, images, and full motion graphics that I make in this video inside my free community that I'm setting up right now. So there will be a link in the description. So now we have the end image of how we want our little video or our motion graphic to end on. Now we also need a starting frame. That's the only thing we need. We need a start and an end frame. So to create the start frame, you can just right click this image, hit copy, and then paste it back into the chat. And I found this works better than just prompting again. And then I just said, remove the people from the foreground. And then it gave me exactly that. Now for that cool map animation, Again, here's the prompt, really simple prompt. Also, we keep prompting it to make the image 16 by nine. And then again, I just said, remove the pyramid from this image and it gave us our starting frame. So again, you just wanna download both of those images and it doesn't just work with removing stuff. We can actually rotate the image as well. So to create that cool rotating heart motion graphic, I used this prompt, which gave us this image. And then I copied that image and said, zoom in on the highlighted red area, adjust the camera angle to a close up side view. So as you can see, it slightly rotated the image, but it didn't zoom in. So basically I just prompted the same thing again. Then it zoomed in. And then I asked it to change the camera angle again and zoom in even more on the red part. So now we have our end frame here as well. So we're gonna download that as well. Then for the pyramid, I tried it in Gemini, but I didn't get results that I really liked even though this one's pretty good. So I just went to a free ChatGPT account and prompted it there. This was the exact prompt. And it gave me this nice clean pyramid with the text on it that I wanted. Then I did it again for a black background. And then there are a bunch of different things you can do with this. So I pasted that image into Gemini and I said, remove the top layer of this image. So you can do that. You can remove each layer of this so we can add them all back again. I also created one where I said add large white square grid to the background and then I told it to remove the pyramid entirely. Here I also prompted one to make it look a bit more 3D by changing the camera angle a bit more to the side so it gave me this one. So again this will be our starting frame and this one or this one will be our end frame. So I'll be showing you how to make the motion part of those graphics soon but another cool thing we can do is if you head over to Canva or any other simple image creating tool. I'm going to show you how to turn something like this into something like that and then we can create videos with that as well. So first let's make this background nice and black and then head over to elements here and we can go to shapes and make any shape we want. Let's just take this rounded box here, enlarge it a bit. Uh, let's make it nice and red and now maybe add a white box inside. Uh, let's make this white so we can add some text in here. All right again this is just a basic example. You can do anything you want here. Let's add maybe an icon of there we go. Let's just just add this one in there and maybe add a circle behind that add that to the back all right so if we just copy paste this and make three of them and just center these all in the middle now we have this terrible little graphic here it doesn't look good at all if we just download that save it as a png and here comes the cool part if we add that into gemini again first of all we can tell it the text that we want to change. I'm literally just going to say change the text of the middle card of this image to example to and change the icon to something else. Again, this is just an example, of course. And there we go. It changed it to a text icon there. So now we copy that second one and say change the text of the right card in this image to number three. This is just to illustrate that you can change anything in the image, right? Obviously, we could have just done this in Canva just as easily. But now comes the cool part. So we have this third one here now. So if we copy this again, and you can prompt something like take this design and upgrade it to look like it was made by a $100,000 3D design team. Make it sleek, professional, and minimal like something Apple would make. You can throw in something like that. And of course you could prompt this from the beginning as well. You don't have to start with a Canva creation like we did. You can just prompt this entire thing and it will make a really good graphic by itself. I'm just illustrating different ways we can do this. So here's what it made. As you can see, it polished it up, made it shine. Definitely looks a lot better. Then I just copied that in again and I said, make the cards thicker with more 3D depth. And as you can see, it is nice and 3D now. So we'll download that one as well. And lastly, one more time, we're gonna say remove all the cards and just keep the background. By the way, I gave the same exact prompt in ChatGPT to create the 3D version of our cards. And it gave us this, which again, 
looks fantastic. You can obviously prompt this to make the text white. All right, and there is our background. And again, we can change anything we want. We can just say, give these cards a neon glow effect and it will do that and we get this there's one thing we can do to upgrade our quality is remove this gemini watermark in the bottom right of all these images there's a lot of ways you can do this you can simply use photopea if it's on a basic background like this you can just you know drag some of this background color over it and that will mask it or you can use a variety of ai tools to get rid of it i'm just going to choose canva here so i'm just going to upload all of our image with the watermark here and we'll add them one by one on each page. Now you don't even have to do this, it'll work without. And you could always just crop it out like that if you don't have anything important on the right side of the screen. But otherwise we're just gonna click it, hit edit, then go to the magic eraser and just mask it there and hit erase. I'm gonna do this for all images and it will get rid of all of the watermarks. Then I'm gonna download all of the images. Another optional step is upscaling the image. You can do this a bunch of different ways. A completely free option is upscale. It's a free program and you can upscale the images like this. All right, so now we have our images. Now it's time to create the videos. There are two ways you can do this. If you know a little bit about editing, you can use any editing program. You can create layers and mask out each of these cards, for instance, and then animate them with keyframes and give them some motion blur and all that. The second and much easier way is to use a video generator, by far my favorite platform Form for doing anything with image or video generation is open art you can start completely for free and they have every single image and video generation model under the sun pretty much and if a new one comes out they add it really quick as you can see in the image generation models we could have used nano banana here as well but that's free in gemini as well so but we could have used flux context pro or max or any of these other ones here there is so much value in this platform it's crazy look at all these video models they have in here it's absolutely insane i'll leave my link for this in the description it'll help me out if you sign up with that and then if you want to upgrade your account i have a 10 percent discount code that'll leave in the description as well otherwise you can just go to openart.ai and do it yourself and then in the video section here under image to video we can select our model here and we want to use one that has an end frame capability like C Dance, Kling, Hilua 2, Vidu, Pixverse, any of these. So let's go with Hilua 2. I haven't used that one yet. And as you can see, we can add a start frame and an end frame here. So let's start with this YouTube one. Our start frame will be the empty one without the silhouettes of the people there. And our end frame will be the other one. And now we can simply just prompt this tool. So first off, let's just keep this completely empty and see what it does by itself. And let's just keep this on 768p for now. And you just hit create. So here's what it gave us. And just like that, we have this amazing motion graphic here. Now we can speed this up, of course. This is just what it thought it would do. It nicely animated the YouTube button there as well. So let's download that and make sure to play around with the different video generators. They're all very different and some work better for certain videos, some work better for others. So just play, play around with them. So next, let's try this map with the pyramid. By the way, right now I'm launching a free and a paid community and especially the paid one will include things that you haven't seen in any other community in this space. Like right now I've added these ways of how to get pretty much every AI tool for extremely cheap or even completely free. Like I've been using Perplexity AI a lot and I show you how to get Perplexity Pro completely for free for an entire year. So that's already a $240 value right there. And like I've been using ChatGPT Plus for a ridiculously cheap price for the last months but apart from that i just want to create this beautiful community of ai enthusiasts we can help each other grow and build stuff and you can ask me questions we're going to be doing giveaways and challenges and over the next weeks and months i'm going to be stuffing so much value into this community it's going to be crazy so come join the free portion there'll be loads of cool stuff we're going to be doing there as well and the first 10 people to join my pro community will get it for 10 dollars a month after that it is going up but in any case come join the free community it'll be great again start frame empty map end frame with the pyramid so for this one let's say the pyramid grows upwards out of the map sand falls down the pyramid as it emerges that should be good all right and here is what it gave us look at that that's so cool it is a little bit unrealistic how the sand sort of disappears again but that's because our end frame didn't have the sand on it but we can keep prompting this to make it a little bit more subtle now for the next one we have the start frame the with just the background and then the next frame we have the pyramid and i'll just say each layer of the pyramid falls down into place one by one so here's a much more subtle version of that pyramid that looks really good look at that and here is our pyramid animation watch this look at that 
that's phenomenal now let's do our red cards here so we can say each card comes flying in from different directions one by one i'm interested to see what the auto sound will do so we can just say whooshing sound and let's create that let's also make another one that says they spin around once when they land all right so here's the video it made with the sound effect i'm gonna warn you it starts off good but then it gets really weird really quick see that's great that one was great right this one not so much I don't know why it's screaming at the end. And here's the second one with the spinning around we asked. So that's a bit intense. So let's not use that one. The other one is perfect though without the sound effects. So we'll use that one. All right, let's do the last one of that human heart we had. So we'll just simply say zoom in and rotate to the red highlighted area. All right, and here's our finished video. The heart is even pumping. This looks completely amazing. Absolutely fantastic. This could be in a high quality YouTube documentary. You could make amazing videos with this technology. And now if you click on your created video, we can actually hit the video upscale at the bottom here. Now we can turn off frame interpolation if we don't want that, but you can increase the FPS. So let's change the resolution to 1080p here and it'll be a hundred credits. So let's enhance that video. And let's do that for every other video we have. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll like this one as well. Tell me in the comments what you think of this system to create motion graphics. Hopefully I'll see you in our new community or otherwise I'll see you next time.